Want your autographs on track? BAM's got your back. What's inside the BAM box, the monthly fandom subscription service? Oh yes, you have a question over there? Can you elaborate on what fandom entails? Of course I can. Thank you for reading the script. Every single month, BAM drops off at your doorstep a selection of autographs, prop replicas, and more. To find out what's more, we're going to go ahead and open up the newest offering from BAM. But if you guys would like to jump, jump on board the BAM bandwagon, you can click the link down below in the video description. Now, one thing I will disclose, though, is I did receive two BAM boxes when I went to my local post office recently. So it's a 50-50 toss as to what exactly this BAM box is going to be. BAM seems to also be using the same box, same appearance for every one of their releases. So again, its contents for right now remain unknown. We're going to find out soon enough. Reaching, though, off to the side of the camera here to a selection of knives overhead. Just have what seems to be a pile of knives, some that haven't even made appearances yet. <laughs> In lieu of possibly a teaser. In the meantime, though, I'm going to grab Chet Cunnington the third. We're going to make, hopefully, some short work of the tape that's featured on the front. It's time to get excited, Bammer. I'm already excited. Carefully, carefully, to slice the tape only, not my digits. Cutting the tape across the front of the box, we're going to open up and reveal the contents inside. First of which, we have ourselves some uh, confetti paper. That always ends up everywhere. But underneath the confetti paper, we have ourselves a geek pin. So that tells us right away what box this is from BAM. It's a geek created by BAM, and we have the exclusive enamel pin featuring Stimpy. Good old Stimpy. Man, I haven't watched Ren and Stimpy in like forever. I remember at one point they were always on it at lunchtime when I went home from school. I don't think I've ever watched an episode of Ren and... Well, I did actually have the seasons of Ren and Stimpy. I have them right now in DVD, but haven't. it's been like forever since I've ever watched a Ren and Stimpy episode. When was the last time you guys have watched a Ren and Stimpy episode? Let me know down below in the comments section. Some of you may also right now be saying, I, I just watched one like an hour ago. What? What uncanny like luck. What uncanny luck it is. On the back of it, though, uh, this one appears to be common. Uh, common is... Well, it says uncommon is 250, rare is 99, and super rare is 50. I guess this is common. I do like the look of this quite a lot. Good old Stimpy, eh? I'm going to put him to the side. Moving as much confetti paper as I can out of the way. Let's Once again, we've got the seasoning packet here. Opening up the included cards. I kind of like these cards, too. They're taking some of your favorite fandoms and doing a slight twist on them. Discarding that to the side. Okay, so we've got ourselves what looks to be almost like a Grim Reaper. He kind of looks a little like Skeletor. Although this Skeletor, although it's not really Skeletor, does have a robotic arm. This one's called... Well, it says Big Beast on the back. I don't know if it actually... Does it say the names? Uh, no, I think they're all just the same generic read-ups on the back here. But we've got one that kind of looks like Skeletor. We have one that looks like Michelangelo. That's cool. I like the look of that one. Uh, this one I'm not too sure of, but she's carrying a pair of katanas. And this one I recognize, not only is it hollow foil, but it's also Wolverine. You know, close enough to being Wolverine. Yeah, I like these cards. I've been holding on to them every single time I've been opening up these band boxes. <sighs> just gonna put it over here. I know I'm making up myself a mess, but I'm just gonna, just gonna put it over there for right now. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. Now that we've season packet we have ourselves optimus prime now i think again with these they are decals i thought initially that they were stickers or like tattoos tattoos but they turns out in fact that they are stickers they're adhesive and you can stick them really anywhere well anywhere where you don't mind the lower half of optimus prime being gone i like the look of that he's got his plasma plasma gun in his hand uh well we don't want to look at that just yet oh no way uh, we also have ourselves the checklist for the Big Beast Trading Card Series 1 Geek Base Set. Some of which you may recognize from other fandoms. There's kind of a Slimer. There's one that kind of looks like the Demogorgon. It's one that looks like Venom. I'd like to get my hands on that one. We did get this one. Uh, we did get... Is that the only one that we got from this list? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, some of these I'd actually like to get my hands on. I like to look at the Robocop, Robocop one right there. Also inside, we did get ourselves, let's see, an art print. 
featuring the brand new uh, Wakanda Forever. I think that's the name of the movie. Anybody had the chance yet to see it? By the fact I'm not so certain on the name, you probably would already know that I haven't had the chance yet to watch it. There's Namor there on the front. I kind of like the look of, of Namor. And then, of course, there's the Black Panther behind him. And, uh, really cool. This one's also been signed by the artist out of the limited run of 250... 200... Two, <laughs> ah, my brain! 2,500. This one's 847. And there's a certificate of authenticity indicating that this has been genuinely signed by the artist. Then something else, the thing I look forward to the most... Just brushing off the rest of the confetti here. The thing I look forward to the most is the autograph that comes included with these band boxes. Let's see what we got in store for us for the Geek Box offering. Nice. I, it's not necess, it, it, it's not Millie Bobby Brown, but it's Mark Steger, who I'm guessing actually plays the Demogorgon. This looks to be from Stranger Things Season 1. I don't know if he would have also played the Demogorgon in the other seasons too, even though we had the Demodogs in Season 2 and... Yeah, so I don't know, maybe he was only just the Demogorgon in the first season, but it's really rather interesting. We were just actually just talking about the Demogorgon, weren't we? It's, it's all funny how the planets align with one another. That is a cool looking autograph. I'm going to definitely put that into my binder in a moment. One thing I did overlook, though, while we were unboxing all this, is the contents. The contents would have given this away right away because we would have known exactly what this is. Uh, Peeker sticker. That's what they're called. Peeker stickers. We got a Transformers exclusive sticker by artist uh, Birdie. Looking to see if there was a first name. I think that's his only name, Birdie. That would be pretty short on a membership card. Maybe be saving like, just a lot on printing costs alone. Uh, we also got ourselves a, an exclusive enamel pin. There was a Ren and Stimpy. I did get myself the Stimpy. Now, I just want to look, though. Where where did I put that? Is it underneath all the confetti? Maybe it is under... Oh, it's right over here. Just looking at it right now, I don't think I have the glitter variant. It doesn't seem as if it's glittering. I did get myself the regular version here, but there's also a Ren version, and there's a glitter variant of him, both of which were actually produced by artist Addy Kaderly. I hope I pronounced that correctly. We also did get ourselves an exclusive art print by artist Derek Payne of Black Panther. Wakanda Forever. It was. It was Wakanda Forever. And then there was the autograph by Mark Steger, who played the Demogorgon in Stranger Things. Several variations. I really like that one. The one that, I guess it's inside the classroom. I would have loved to have gotten that one. But I did get a pretty good one. I got this one right here at the top corner. Yeah, this, by the way, is the Geek Box for October 2022. That now answers the question of what the contents were and what month it would have been from. So it would have been from last month. If you guys are interested and would like to get autographs, prop replicas, and more delivered to your doorstep, we didn't actually get any prop replicas, replicas this time around, but I think we did pretty good for ourselves. We did get ourselves an autograph of the Demogorgon himself, Mark Steger. But yeah, if you guys are interested, you can click the link down below in the video description that will take you on over to BAM's website. And from there, you can subscribe to which BAM box is best for you. I will also be taking some time after this video is finished recording to clean up some of my mess here. But if you enjoyed this video, hit with a like. Yes, if you enjoyed the content, you certainly want to stick around for more. Sure, then make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the bell notification. And as I had alluded at the beginning of this video, I did open up, I did find i retrieved i picked up two band boxes so while we have finished up the geek box there's going to be another band box coming your way will it be the bam horror box i'm just going to have to definitely come back and find out as always guys thanks for watching see you guys next time